Hello, I'm Pat. In this video we're going to visit Vaxholm, a nice little town in northeast of Stockholm, sometimes called the capital of the archipelago. Lots of people from the Stockholm area pass by here on their way to their summer houses in the archipelago. The town is also interesting in itself and well worth to visit. This is Vaxholm's Castell. A fortress built in the 19th century on a small island next to Vaxholm. Vaxholm's Castell is probably the foremost tourist attraction in Vaxholm. A ferry goes from Vaxholm to the fortress and back several times a day throughout the summer. A military outpost was established here in 1510 and a fortress was built here in 1548. The reason for this was that the strait here was one of the few ways that large warships could use to reach Stockholm. So the fortress was part of the defense structure surrounding Stockholm. The old fortress protected Stockholm on two occasions, when the Danes tried to attack the city in 1612 and when the Russians did it in 1719. Russian warships ravaging the archipelago in 1719 were met by a heavy bombardment from that fortress and Swedish navy ships and thus prevented from reaching Stockholm. This was at the final stages of the Great Nordic War which ended in 1721. Vaxholm's castell was built during the years 1833 to 1863 but it soon became outdated because of technological improvements in artillery. In 1872 a test was conducted where the Swedish navy ship Hilder fired its cannons on the fortress a couple of times and the new more modern shells could easily penetrate the walls here. Vaxholms Castell as well as the old fortress that was here before it have both been used as prisons. Vaxholms Castell was used as a military training center until the time of World War II, but today there is no military activity here. Vaxholms Castell has become a museum with daily guided tours in the summer. There is also a hotel here, Castellet Bed and Breakfast. Here are some pictures from the museum at Vaxholms Castell. Vaxholms Hotel is a very fine hotel that was built in 1903. It's located in the harbor and it has two very nice restaurants. People come to visit this hotel not only in the summer, but around the year. For example, many people come here in December to feast on the hotel's famous Christmas buffet. Now I'm here at the restaurant at Vaxholms Hotel. For lunch I'm having wheel with a glass of lovely red wine from Burlingdale. As you can see, the restaurant has a very nice view over the sea. Lunch doesn't get much better than this. Rodarhuset is a small art gallery just outside Vaxholm. The gallery has a little shop where you can buy very fine works of art and a small cafe next to the water. Here are some pictures from the gallery. As you can see, they have many very beautiful paintings on display here. So if you want to buy fine art, Rodarhuset is the place to go. Thank you. 
This is Villa Aclea, a house that was built at the end of the 19th century. The two artists, Johan Axel Gustav Acke and Eva Acke, were married to each other and this was their home during the years 1901 to 1924. Eva Acke was the daughter of the Finnish writer and historian Zacharias Topelius. You cannot just uh, come here and visit Villa Aclea like any museum. You will have to come with a group that has a guided tour booked in advance. This is Vaxholm's Kyrka. It belongs to the Swedish Lutheran Church. The construction of this small church was commenced in 1760 and took some time. The church was officially opened in 1803. Here are some pictures from the interior of Vaxholm's Kyrka. There are several public beaches in the Vaxholm area and you can choose between smooth sand shores or diving from the rocks. Naturally, I didn't want to go to a public beach to do any video recording or photography. Bogesunds Slot is a castle in the municipality of Vaxholm. It was built in the middle of the 17th century at the request of Count Per Brahe, who was the first proprietor of this castle and who also died here. Bogesund's slot has uh, been in the hands of different families during the following centuries. It was acquired by the government in 1946 and today it is a museum open to the public. But you cannot just visit this castle at any time. If you want to see Bogesund's slot you will have to take a guided tour and guided tours are only offered on certain days. Bogesund's slot lies outside the city but you can get there from Vaxholm by bus if you are interested in history and have enough time, an excursion to Bogesund's slot could be very interesting. This is Parkvillan, a house that was built in 1895 to be the home of the gardener at Bogesund's slot. Today Park Villan is a cafe where you can have lunch or coffee with pastries, indoors or outdoors. So if you're going on a summer holiday in Stockholm and planning to stay for a week or more, an excursion to Vaxholm could be very nice. Ferries depart daily from central Stockholm and will take you to Vaxholm in about one hour. You can also get here by bus, but I recommend the boot the bulk tour. The bulk tour is a treat in itself and you will get to see some of the beautiful archipelago on your way out. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching.